It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. What happens if your dog drinks too much water? Water poisoning. Water poisoning is a rare condition that can occur when a dog ingests too much water. This leads to some serious problems in the body and can even lead to death. Let's talk about what causes water poisoning and how you can prevent it from happening to your pet. 1. What is water poisoning in dogs? Water poisoning, also known as water intoxication or hyperhydration, occurs when a dog drinks an excessive amount of water in a short period of time. Usually, the concentration of sodium in the blood is about the same as that of the body's cells and everything is kept in balance. But too much water dilutes the sodium in the blood and causes a problem known as hyponatremia. Usually, the kidneys are in charge of maintaining the water and sodium levels, but in this case they don't have time to fix it. The dog is taking in more fluid than the kidneys have a chance to remove, causing the blood to become watery, diluted. Dangerously low sodium levels cause water to start flowing from the blood into the cells as the body tries to correct the hyponatremia. This excess fluid causes the cells to swell. Organs like the liver can handle some swelling, but more sensitive organs like the brain, which is covered in bone, can't. Brain swelling, or cerebral edema, results in multiple symptoms. 2. How does water intoxication occur in dogs? Water intoxication in dogs is more likely to occur in those who spend a lot of time swimming, as well as playing in and around water. Dogs who repeatedly dive or play fetch in the water are more likely to swallow large amounts of fluid. Dogs who play at biting streams of water from hoses or sprinklers may also end up ingesting more than usual. This may come as a surprise to many owners, who include water in their playtime to keep their dogs cool and well hydrated during the summer months. But just as dehydration can cause problems for our pets, so can overhydration. It's important to find the right balance. 3. What are the symptoms of water intoxication in dogs? Symptoms may include Lethargy A swollen abdomen Vomiting Staggering or loss of coordination Drooling Pale gums Glassy eyes Dilated pupils Collapse Difficulty breathing Seizures Death If you think your dog is showing symptoms of water intoxication, contact your veterinarian immediately. 4. How is water intoxication treated in dogs? Your veterinarian will start by examining your dog, checking his heart rate, respiratory effort, and body temperature. Your pet may be suggested to have a blood test to check your pet's electrolyte levels, including sodium, but your pet's hematology, white and red blood cells, and biochemistry, liver, kidneys, blood sugar levels, and protein, checked as well. If your dog is suspected of being water poisoned, your pet may need to be hospitalized and treated. Your pet's blood sodium levels will need to be increased, but this needs to be managed carefully, as too much sodium could also cause neurological problems. Vets may need to administer diuretics to help speed up the rate of fluid removal and also medications to reduce pressure on your dog's brain. Mild cases may return to normal with proper care, but more severe cases may suffer permanent damage. Sadly, euthanasia may be recommended for some patients. 5. How can my dog avoid water poisoning? It's usually not necessary to stop playing with water altogether. Instead, owners should closely supervise their dogs and try to limit excessive amounts of water play. Make sure your dog gets regular breaks after swimming and plenty of opportunities to go to the bathroom. Dogs that splash around a lot in the water or keep their heads down are more likely to swallow water while swimming than other dogs. Therefore, you should keep an even closer eye on the time these pets spend in the water. If you play fetch in the water, use an object that your dog can easily bite and that he can close his mouth tightly on, such as a flat frisbee. You should also not encourage him to bite high-pressure water jets, such as hoses, as this could cause him to swallow large amounts of water in a short time. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.